Welcome everybody, we got another death battle video. At the beginning of the video I asked, do y'all know who Raven is? You know, they say yeah, but they don't even know who Phoenix is, which is crazy. Anybody know who Phoenix is? Anybody? Nobody? I, I, know, I, know, I know who Phoenix, Phoenix is, but I don't know much. You know much? I see a picture, yeah. <laughs> well, they are gonna see in a minute and they are gonna see more information about these characters hey guys so yaddy yaddy here and you guys could follow me on tiktok as bossy yaddy and on instagram as miss yaddy yaddy fit this comfortable in some shorts yeah. um this is katie you can follow me on tiktok at katie booth zero seven uh, and see. outfit okay so my fits a little okay <laughs> we got the comfortability outfits on today to work out Vibes though. I'm Emmy. I'm Hello Emmy XOXO on TikTok and Instagram, and I'm just in this little denim vest. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can follow her on social media. Hey everybody, my name is Alexis Evangeline, and my social media handles on TikTok and Instagram are um, Alexis underscore Evangeline on both. Um, thank you. <laughs> and my outfit, I am wearing just a basic little striped little tank top with some workout biker shorts and that's just about it Hi everybody my name is arisu you can follow me on tiktok and instagram at majin underscore arisu i mainly do cosplays and anime content um just a comfortable fit today you know with the hoodie okay okay I like the hoodie that's <laughs> fire though go follow them all the social media it's gonna be all in the description so don't ask me what's their ad names i'm gonna leave it in the description so go follow them go dm them on instagram and tiktok this episode is sponsored by better help Jean Grey, the marvelous Phoenix of oh, the X-Men. Oh, I know who that is. Now you know. Corinthian <laughs> Demon Witch of yeah. the Teen Titans. <laughs> if absolute power corrupts absolutely in our quest to contain the beast within, we may well be consumed by... Third battle time! He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Sir? In Greek mythology, the majestic phoenix bursts into flames upon its death, then rises from its own ashes. It's a symbol of nature, rebirth, the dawning and setting of the sun, the beginning and end of life. A cycle poor Jean Grey was thrown into way too young when her best friend was struck by a car right in front of her. Just like a phoenix, the trauma of Annie's death was the start of something new, her mutant power of telepathy. In Annie's fleeting moments, Jean bonded with her mind, and they experienced her death together. By the way, Jean was 10. Enter Professor Charles Xavier, who hoped to help Jean through her trauma. And was also a telepath. He taught Jean how to control her ex-Jean, and she used her powers to find other troubled mutant kids around the country. Thus, the first iteration of these marvelous mutant superheroes was born, the X-Men. Cyclops, Iceman, Beast, Angel, and of course, Marvel Girl. We can, we can workshop that name. Gene's potential as a telepath was incredible. So far beyond Xavier's, in fact, that he installed psionic blocks in her mind to limit her full power. At least until she was mature enough to wield it safely. She can read and control thoughts, communicate telepathically, rewrite and erase memories. See, that could be a good... Uh, control thoughts, erase memories and stuff? That's crazy. Memory manipulation? Oh, that's crazy. Manipulate each one of your senses and project her mind into the astral plane. Jean is also an expert telekinetic, capable of forming energy barriers, deconstructing giant machines, and even halting the blood flow to your brain. Starting to feel like the guy with big hands who can climb good is a little out of place, but...
human spirit. Uh, not really. Turns out that wasn't actually Jean. The Phoenix was just kind of pretending to be her. She came back later. Oh, and she merged oh. with the Phoenix again. Came back well, that's oh. stupid. But hey, absolute power may corrupt absolutely, but it also absolutely owns. As the Phoenix, Jean can channel vast amounts of cosmic energy, absorb power from others, manipulate matter down to the subatomic level, and even scorch your soul with psionic flames. Mm. Flames that take the shape of the Phoenix itself grow to the size of a universe, and burn hotter than a supernova. The Phoenix can basically do anything. Stop time, open portals, see the future, raise the dead, and create pocket wow. realities just for fun. She can fly at massively faster than light speeds and wage mental battles across Thanks, infinite fast. distances in seconds. El Pollo Loco even boosted Jean's natural mutant abilities to the max. She's physically strong enough to fight the thing, and she's a stronger telepath than Moondragon was with the Mind Gem. You know, the Infinity Gauntlet bling that controls all minds in the universe? And should Jean fall, the Phoenix can always resurrect her. So long as her soul remains intact, it will reform her body no matter how many times it's destroyed. Which is good, since she's died literally 15 times. Damn. As of this recording, at least, she probably died again in 2024. Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> 16 times. 16 times. <laughs> I don't want to think she's going to hey, fight when Jean's not around, the Phoenix <laughs> she got more medicine people. Kid. Rachel Gray, Hope Summers, fire hair. It's got a thing for redheads. Oh, do you think it was a bad idea to have Jocelyn study it? I demand a raise. Nah, she's fine. Well, even with plenty of hosts to choose from, the Phoenix would often end up back with Jean. Like a clingy, codependent ex. While Jean might be stuck in a kind of love Ouroboros with Scott, Logan, Emma, basically everyone, her true bestie is the Phoenix. <laughs> because according to the Phoenix Force, she is its perfect vessel. The Phoenix is powerful enough to stalemate Galactus and defeat the being Necrom, who was going to collapse the multiverse into a singularity. With Old Man Logan as its host, the Phoenix saved the entire Omniverse from destruction. Yeah, basically the embodiment of the previous multiverse got mad and tried to flood reality with his evil juices. So Old Man Phoenix held back a tsunami that would have erased all of Marvel Comics. Let's move on. Even after multiple possessions, Jean was never quite free from the influence of the Dark Phoenix and the threat of its ultimate destruction. But Jean's like the nicest and most patient person ever, so she eventually sort of got through to the Phoenix Force. And with her combined power emotionally stabilized, Jean reached her ultimate state of being, the White Phoenix of the Crown. Sounds like a Dark Souls boss and just as bullshit. White Phoenix is a perfect merging of Jean and the Phoenix Force, allowing her to control time Time and space and hold friggin' universes in her hand. And giving her dominion over the white hot room, the highest plane of existence and the center of the Phoenix's power. Beyond the far shore of reality, it is a dimension the Phoenix has complete control over and even gets stronger while in it. But Phoenix could never get out of that let's kill everyone mindset. So Jean finally confronted it and dumped his ass. Yeah, she dumped a cosmic god of destruction. You go girl, time to take back the good old days of Wait, they're calling her Marvel Girl again? Roll it back. But like a phoenix, the two will inevitably rise again and reunite, refreshed and renewed, with a passion that can melt stars and set our souls aflame. Mm, better go for the phoenix. This episode okay. is sponsored by BetterHelp. It can be. We almost done. Skip phoenix is a baddie. Phoenix is a baddie. <laughs> Definitely. Baddie. But yeah, hey, don't. Hey, we can't. We don't know who's gonna win. Yeah, you gotta know about Raven though. We still gotta know. Once upon a midnight dreary, the demon lord Trigon had a plan to escape his extra-dimensional prison. By manipulating a poor young Gothamite named Angela Roth, he would spawn a half-demon child that would summon him to Earth. See, this is one of the many reasons you don't live in Gotham. Thankfully, Angela was rescued and taken to a dimension called Azareth, filled with a bunch of smelly space hippies. And there, she would have her doomed daughter, Raven. The Azarathians were terrified of Raven. If she ever lost control of herself, even for a moment, she could release Trigon into the world and kickstart the apocalypse. So they trained her to control her mind, forbidding her from dang, feeling any those. emotions whatsoever. Dang, five, 11, she like, why, dang. She's half <laughs> demon too, though. 
and thus suppress Trigon's influence. Right. Strong enough to accidentally destroy the universe. I don't know, Wiz. Being told that if I get too mad or too happy, I'd let loose the actual devil might just make me a tad bit stressed out of my goddamn mind. I call it the prequel <laughs> trilogy school of psychotherapy. And much like a Jedi, Raven learned some sick magical powers. Raven is an empath and can sense the emotions of others even from across the universe. Mm. She can shape those emotions so precisely it acts as a form of mind control. She oh, can sense your control. presence, yeah. absorb and yeah. redirect your pain, steal your energy for herself, communicate telepathically, erase memories, mm -hmm. or oh, just turn your brain off and put you to sleep. <laughs> her telepathy is so strong, she could resist a mental attack from the Hive Queen, whose psionic abilities could overpower even Superman's mental defenses. God, I could use that Very some nights. Superman. And he can resist mind control from dudes who can destroy the multiverse. Seems like she's got this emotion shit locked down. What's the problem? Her very soul. While her body is ostensibly human, her soul is the locus for Trigon's corruption, and she can separate it from her own body in the form of her silhouette. It's a bird! It's a plane! No, that's just a bird! This soul self is non-corporeal <laughs> and can be controlled though. from an interstellar distance away. She can use it to fly, teleport across dimensions, possess people, smash ponies like a battering ram, and even absorb things into a pocket dimension of infinite darkness. Or the nightmares! It can also regenerate from complete disintegration. Sort of like a soul healing factor. You know, they probably should have thought twice about making the person who could accidentally end the world such a badass. Given Raven's fear of her dreaded destiny, it's fitting that her soul Soul self should take the form of her namesake, a raven. Across multiple mythologies and yeah. cultures, the raven symbolizes prophecy, death, and ill omen. Hey, if uh, ravens mean bad news, what about gooses? You wanna fight me, motherfuckers? Oh. Really? I'll nibble you. Hey, well, he's I'll nibble your eyes out. Go nibble you. See ya. <laughs> ah! Okay, bye. Oh, right. They symbolize assholes. Upon turning 18, Raven feared Trigon's growing presence and went to Earth to form a super team capable of combating him. Screw you, Satan! It's the Teen Titans! These kids may seem like the Justice League Junior Edition, but with Raven as their white and black mage combo, they were out kicking butt and saving the world. You can add Warrior, too. On one of their adventures, Raven's physical body was enhanced to match Donna Troy an Amazonian strong enough to withstand a blast from the universe buster, Monarch. Well, that's just bad game design. Raven's vast arsenal of magic includes lightning, force fields, illusions, telekinesis, shape-shifting, matter manipulation, stopping and traveling through time, and most dangerously, her control over souls. She can rip your soul out of your body and absorb it to get stronger, even what? controlling a universe full of souls Whoa, all at crazy. once. If your soul out of your body gets stronger, though, that's crazy, though. That's one thing I yeah. see now. It's insane power to have. <laughs> no big deal. And should someone attempt to possess her, she can tether their soul to hers, absorbing them. Like Aww. in a possible future yeah. timeline where she did just that to the four horsemen of the apocalypse. She got strong enough to destroy all of creation. She was called the unkindness, which is actually the term for a group of ravens. Neat. All of these powers made her an incredible asset for the Titans. No longer alone in Azeroth, awaiting inevitable doom, Raven found a new home with new friends. And a potential green-skinned love interest that DC is too cowardly to commit to. Come on, guys. We all ship it. Peace Alongside boy. Raven, then threaten all of reality. Long have the legends of old proclaimed the awesome might of the goth GF. But I never knew they were true until this day, wizard. Okay. Portents of doom are nothing new for this shadow-clad sorceress. With her teammates at her side, there's no future this titan can't overcome. Okay. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a bird battle! A bird battle. Well, hopefully it's not just birds, but not only that, man. Both of these stats. It's kind of complicated to pick, though. Uh, I'm gonna start with oh. number one. Who do you go on? Who you going for? A Raven or a Phoenix? Number one. I'm gonna go. You know, um, Raven has a lot, a lot of powers. I think more. I I'm gonna go with Raven. I'm gonna go with Raven. No switching answers. Raven number two. What you go? Who you gonna go for? I'm gonna go with Raven too. I think she can like take the Phoenix's soul. That's right. She could possibly do it. Number three. As much as I love Raven, I think I'm gonna go Jean Grey. I'm gonna go Phoenix. Right, I'm going Phoenix too, though. Uh, number five. I'm gonna have faith in my girl Raven. 
I really think she could beat Phoenix. Uh, well, two. yeah. <laughs> um. So, honestly, I'm gonna go with Phoenix. Um, because I don't know. I just feel like she's just got so much that she's got under her belt to like really conquer her competition mm-hmm. and whoever is up against. Um, and I like the deep psychological aspects to her abilities. Yeah, yeah that, that's mm-hmm. what caught my eye. But then, mm-hmm. the thing about both of them that I like, they can basically, it seems like they both can never die, though. Even when Raven's body was gone, her soul was still alive, though. So that's the crazy thing. Yeah. So I don't think you can really, Phoenix, you can't really, she died, what, like 60 times? So that's why yeah. I'm, I'm, going 16. For I'm going for Phoenix, though. I don't care. I'm going for Phoenix. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get it. Okay, what, they going to fight in a magical heaven? <laughs> Come to burn my home to ashes. The demon inside you is too strong to be left alive. I'm sorry. This is for the good of the universe. Yo, she just won't give up. <laughs> Did she just toast her like no, our soul, her body? I knew her soul. She took our soul. Like what the hell? Enough! I'm taking everything that twisted you to somewhere white. Ha! Your. Everyone, give me strength! I am not the daughter of a demon. I am a daughter of Azeroth. Azeroth Metrion Zinto! Don't say she was fraud or like that, no. Wow. She ate her a... She's still alive? I'm home. You know, I think they could have just talked this one out. This was a nail biter, and perhaps that's what did I since say? Raven's reputation hardly Wait, matches that of the Almighty Phoenix. Probably because Raven's always holding back. When she does it, you don't have to dig too deep to see that these two are evenly matched in power. Bro, that was crazy. That was I was I ain't gonna lie, I kinda did not expect that though. That was insane. <laughs> Raven did like, was, get her. Mm-hmm. It's a thing. Oh, Raven. What did I say? I had faith in her. I said it. I'm gonna I, have faith I, in I, her. I, it's that I, I, <laughs> all her skills versus the other girl's skills. Like you yeah. know, Raven has more. 
Raven mm -hmm. has more. So that's what I was thinking about. Everything they wrote down of all the other skills that she had and versus yep. the other one, Raven has more. She said, skills, like more, spiritual defenses. More, more everything. Couldn't destroy yeah. the soul self. Dang, that's what she lacked in, though. The Phoenix Force was strong enough to hold back the destruction of all creation. But Raven had multiple showings of battling similarly powerful characters like Trigon and the Spectre. And both could compete with speeds exceeding infinity. Sure, Jean got a power boost in the White Hot Room, but that didn't make her invincible. The Phoenix has been overpowered there before, like by this big green cat. So throw stats out the window. This fight came down to their abilities. Both were immeasurably powerful telepaths. Both could control matter and time and both could absorb yeah. each other's energy. Yeah, However, Raven's right. ability to survive and right. fight as just her soul meant that most That's of Jean's offensive soul, arsenal though. could not Fighting end the fight. Healthy. The Phoenix Force could have attempted to possess Raven's soul, but Raven has tethered her essence to other similarly powerful beings and absorbed them in the past. And while the Phoenix's fire has shown to burn souls, Raven's has regenerated from complete disintegration. On the flip side, Jean actually had very little defense against Raven's soul manipulation. The Phoenix could regenerate Jean's body, but not her spirit. When Rachel Gray's soul was shattered, the Phoenix was actually incapable of healing it on its own. And while the Phoenix Force itself will be reborn in the White Hot Room, this can take months, years, even centuries. Mm. Now, it could be one hell of a war of attrition, but ultimately, only Raven had the really ability to finish this battle. Day. Jean Grey was one of the strongest beings we've ever seen. But Raven's own awesome might, brilliant magic, and unique soul-destroying powers snuffed out her fire for good. Will the Phoenix yep. rise again, returning from that far, far shore? Quote the Raven, nevermore. The winner is Raven. Raven. How to say Raven. I'm going to be honest. I shouldn't have doubted her. I really did. But sadly, it just wasn't enough. <laughs> hey, the honest truth, though, I didn't even know Raven had powers like that many powers. I did not know that. That's why we listen to all the, everything that they were telling of each one, and Raven has more pow more more powers than the other one. The other one has little less compared. They had like the same, but Raven took over. But not only yeah. that, though, I don't know if y'all familiar with X Men. I'm I'm quite sure y'all probably heard of it or not. Who know who yeah. X Men is? Obviously, that's super popular. I've heard. I've heard. So, do y'all yeah. think that the Teen Titans could be X Men? Though that's my question. Mm -hmm. I feel like they could. I feel like they could, like, because, um, Just cause honestly, they have powers and abilities and their spiritual aspects and everything. Like, they would just go tenfold and just, like, knock out literally everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I, feel like that, that's yeah. a, that's a, I think physically a fight, then I think X-Men will win phys a physical fight. But yeah, spiritually. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. They, spiritually, yeah, they will beat them. Yeah, you are right about that, because... That was crazy. Raven was like going to different universes. Is she super fast? Mm -hmm. she yeah, could just, yeah. I think she could defeat the whole Axeman by herself. Honestly, mm -hmm. no, that, yeah. was, that was physically. Crazy. Yeah, you, like you said, cool. like you said, physically, I think X Men would win physically, like in a physical no ability, like yeah. just just physical abilities. The mm -hmm. X Men would win, but in terms of like if you're including superpowers and all that, I say Teen Titan. Yeah, yeah. that was crazy, I agree. man. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button and subscribe. Please comment the next death battle I should react to by you uh death battles. I was gonna say by you ladies, but by death battle. <laughs> but I love you guys. Uh see y'all next video. Peace out. I love y'all. See y'all next video. We out of here.